Hi, I'm Dr. Khurram Shokat Yusufzai. Today's video is very interesting. It's about using the hyperbaric chamber on other than the default setting. For example, this is a portable flexible hyperbaric chamber which is used at home and the capacity of this chamber is 1.5 atmosphere. So usually it will work at 1.5 atmosphere as a fixed setting like it will inflate and when it reaches 1.5 atmosphere on full inflation then it will stop moving the the needle on the dial will stop moving from 1.5 atmosphere and it will remain there because the automatic valves on this side open up and maintains the pressure at 1.5 atmosphere so basically this chamber is a fixed device like it can operate at only one setting so today i will tell you how to use it at a different setting which can be lower not higher so in order to use it at a lower setting i will tell you how to do it so let's begin let's start to inflate this chamber I have started compressing the chamber and I will close the valve to close position. This is the valve which actually takes care of the air not coming out. Basically this hyperbaric chamber will start inflating with the air which is pushed from the compressor. As you can see, slowly the hyperbaric chamber is started filling up. And in about 10 to 15 minutes, this will completely inflate to its full capacity, which would be 1.5 atmosphere inside the chamber. As you can see on the dial that the pressure will slowly start rising. Slowly the chamber is taking its rounded capsule like shape. I have closed the zips right over here so that the air which is pumped in by the compressor does not escape. As you can see the chamber is now fully inflated and you would be seeing the pressure rise slowly. As you can see on the dial it's marked as in kPa. So 10 kPa is equal to 1.1 atmosphere and 20 kPa is equal to 1.2 atmosphere and 30 kPa is equal to 1.3 atmosphere and 40 kPa is equal to 1.4 atmosphere and 50 kPa is equal to 1.5 atmosphere. As you can see on the dial now the pressure is around 20 kPa. So it has reached around 20 kPa now. Slowly it will reach 30 kPa. Now it is approaching. Thirty kPa. As you can see, it has crossed thirty kPa. Slowly, it will be now. It has it is at forty kPa, which is equal to one point four atmosphere.
at between 40 to 50 kPa the automatic valves will be started opening basically and it will maintain the pressure at 50 kPa and when it maintains that pressure at 50 kPa as you see that 10 kPa is equal to 1.1 atmosphere 20 kPa is equal to 1.2 atmosphere and 30 kPa is equal to 1.3 atmosphere and 40 kPa is equal to 1.4 atmosphere and at 50 kPa it will stop deflating because the automatic valves on this side will start opening and this will maintain the pressure at 1.5 atmosphere so basically that's how a portable flexible hyperbaric chamber is designed to work now you can hear the hissing sound of the automatic valves opening up when the automatic valve open up the air circulates inside the chamber and it removes the carbon dioxide exhaled by the person who is inside so you should never uh, shut off the compressor because if you shut off the compressor you will not be able to remove the carbon dioxide exhaled by the person who is inside the hyperbaric chamber as you can see on the dial the hyperbaric chamber has reached 1.5 atmosphere which is 50 kPa and this is how it will remain so so the problem arises how to use this chamber at 1.3 atmosphere in order to do that I will tell you a simple trick even when the compressor is running so let's begin this is the this is the valve which is used for opening and closing when you open up it removes the air from inside the hyperbaric chamber so slowly I will open up this valve to open position this is open this is closed so I will rotate like this so the air will start escaping from the hyperbaric chamber so when the air is escaping you will see the dial go down to 40 kPa which is equal to 1.5 atmosphere so when it reaches 40 kPa you, you start to close the valve by rotating it clockwise and set it at a place where the air coming in from the compressor and going out is at the same rate so here you can see that the chamber is now set at 1.4 atmosphere or 40 kPa now let's adjust this to 30 kPa which is equal to 1.3 atmosphere so I will open up as you can see the pressure is going down so when it will reach 30 kPa we start rotating the valve so the needle stops moving so now we have set this at 1.3 atmosphere so this is how this is how you should maintain the uh, hyperbaric chamber to the setting you want if you notice that the needle is going up you can uh, control it with this valve as as you see I have set it the air is coming out so the air going in and going out is now at the same rate so let's now set it at 1.2 atmosphere so practically you can set it at whatever pressure you want let's now set it to 
you will see immediately the needle start going up. So according to the hyperbaric consultant or the physician uh, advice, you can set your chamber to whatever pressure you like. So I hope uh, you have understood uh, how this system works. Now you see that the pressure is rising up to 1.25 kPa. So when it will stop, uh, when it will reach 30 kPa, I will try to stop the needle over there to maintain 1.3 atmosphere. It, it will just take a minute. It has now barely reached 30 kPa. So when it has reached at 30 kPa, I will slowly open up. And the needle has now stopped at 30 kPa. So this is the wonderful way where you can adjust the hyperbaric chamber according to your wishes. So this chamber will work at 1.1, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4 or 1.5. So now I'll shut off the compressor. After setting up the compressor, I, I will now remove the air of the hyperbaric chamber. You should be careful while uh, removing the air. You shouldn't do it so quickly because uh, one can hurt the sinuses and the ears. So the rate of uh, descent should be slow. So I hope uh, you liked my video and uh, I hope you subscribe to my channel so that you can uh, see uh, wonderful videos like that and on the social media apps scrolling down below you can contact me for any further questions and my website is also there for uh, any medical consultation or any hyperbaric consultation related to uh, buying this chamber or installation of any solid steel chamber in your clinic or your hospital or any premises or designing the software uh, related to the hyperbaric premises uh, or the medical documents, SOPs, standing operating procedures or any uh, anything related disaster plan or maintenance plan or how to anything related to hyperbaric medical you can ask me and I'm ready to consult on the matters of hyperbaric and I hope to hear from you soon and I hope uh, you subscribe to my channel to encourage us to make such wonderful videos. So I thank you very much for your time and I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.